For this project, we're going to be inspired by the artist Jen Stark from Miami, Florida, and she makes a lot of different artworks. Many of them look like they are moving. She uses a lot of different types of materials. Some are three-dimensional and some are two-dimensional, and some are even digital and actually move. But we're gonna make one that's two-dimensional today, and it's just going to look like it's moving, like her drip paintings. We are going to use a variety of Mr. Sketch markers, Sharpies, and Posca paint markers. You can use just one kind, or you can use all of them if you want. Whichever one you choose, every line that you draw has to be wavy and curved. No straight lines, no pointy lines, because then it won't look like it's actually dripping. One way to start this is to make some really big wavy lines, and then on the inside, you copy what you make the first time. So watch this one that I'm doing on the screen. You're going to make one big wavy line and then inside you're going to repeat that same wavy line. You can repeat it more than once. You can repeat it just one time. You can make it look like it's a thicker line. I'm coloring this one in. You can use different colors on the inside or on the outside of it. So with this line, I'm copying it really close together, creating a variety might make it look more interesting to look at. Using different colors, you can do a certain color scheme or you can use a whole variety of different colors. It's up to you. I'm coloring in this big, large space, all yellow. It'll look like one big drip with some little drips around it. This is the Posca marker. So remember the end goes in and out and you can test it out on scrap paper. Make sure it works. We don't want any big puddles on your paper. We want all of your drips to touch each other. So I started with one on the left side of my paper with that black Sharpie, one on the right side of my paper with that pink Mr. Sketch marker, and then this Posca marker, I kind of made a wavy line connecting the two. I ended up filling all of that in with green and here I'm putting a pattern inside two of my wavy lines. So you don't have to color all of them in. You can make a variety of different types of designs inside different stripes, kind of like stripes of drips. You can color them in with different colors. You just need to fill up your whole entire paper you just continue on drip after drip, either starting with the lowest drip and filling in the inside, or you can start with the smallest drip and then trace it around itself to make it bigger. Whichever way, don't make them all too small and skinny because then it's gonna take you a really, really long time to fill up your paper. So here I am finishing up my last one coloring all the way to the edges of the paper. By adding a variety of patterns and designs, different sizes of drips, and even different thicknesses of the lines, it creates a more interesting artwork to look at.